Hello everyone. In continuation with linear differential equations, we'll be dealing here with and making it simple, the particular integral when the function has been given as sine of x or cos of x kind. Okay, now what what is it? It is this is what is 1 upon f of d square sine of x. That means what if I have the function 1 upon d square, if I have got to operate this 1 upon f of d square on sine of x, then what will be that? This is nothing but 1 upon f of minus a square sine of x. That means in short, I have to replace from f of d, from f of d here, I have to replace every d square as minus of a square. Remember that it is minus of a square, right? There is a difference between minus of this and minus of this. So this is a bracket. Please see the position of a bracket and understand the formula. Now, again, this formula holds good if this f of minus a square is not zero. If it is going to be zero, then what will be the formula? Formula will be again same as that we have discussed it e to the power minus ax, e to the power ax kind of function, one x will come out of this and we have to differentiate the denominator with respect to d. And again, we have to replace that d square again with minus of a square. If it is again zero, that is f dash of minus a square is again zero, then again, one x will come out of it and it will give me x square and it will be one upon f double dash of minus a square sine of ax. Let us see this with an example. Solve d square minus 4 on y equals to cos square x. What is this? This d square minus 4 is equal to 0. The auxiliary equation is and the roots will be my 2 and minus 2. What would be the CF? CF is number of roots are 2. They are distinct. We'll be having C1, C2 are the two constants and we'll be having C1 e to the power 2x plus C2 e to the power minus 2x as CF. How? What would be the PI? PI is 1 upon f of d on x. What is this? f of d is f of d is d square minus 4. x in the present case is cos square x. Now, but this formula is applicable on sine and or a cos. Actually, whatever I have given you here, the same is applicable. You have to just find out the formula using cos of x. So this is nothing but cos square x. What is this cos square x? We can replace it with 1 plus cos of 2x by 2. And we can just have the trigonometric formula over here. So this is what is the trigonometric formula we are using. Then this will be getting the split. This is half will come out of this 1 upon d square plus minus 4. And this is nothing but this 1 plus cos of 2x is now it's getting getting uh, I mean splitted here. 1 is getting replaced as e to the power 0x. Cos of 2x is this. And therefore it is okay. Now, for this particular first case, first case is of e to the power ax kind of function. So, it is nothing but 1 upon f of t e to the power ax and every d we will be replacing with a. Now, in the present case, a is 0 over here. So, it will give me 1 upon 0 square minus 4. So, if we are replacing this a is equals to 0 here, right? We are replacing a as 0 here. So this is what is a we are replaced as 0 over here and this is d we have replaced as 0 and 0 square minus 4 e to the power 0x and so on. What will happen here? It's d square. It's d squared here. So this d squared is getting replaced as a in the case is 2 over here. So a is 2. It's minus of 2 squared which is minus of 4. So this will give me minus of 4 minus 4 it's minus of 8 over here and this is cos of 2x as it is so this is what is we have got it the pi for this particular function pi is 1 upon minus 8 or you can say minus 1 by 8 plus uh, or minus 1 upon 16 cos of 2x and therefore the general solution is nothing but cf this is cf and this pi addition of this two will give me the general solution as c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x plus 1 upon minus 8 plus 1 upon minus 16 cos of 2x. Let us go for another example. It's a d cube y upon dx cube minus 3 d square y upon dx square plus 4 dy by dx minus 2y is equal to e to the power x plus cos of 2x. 
Now again, we have got two functions over here, one and two, right? So at this auxiliary equation is d cube plus plus three. Actually, it's a plus. It's not plus. It's a minus over here. Uh, please consider here a minus. So it's d cube minus 3d square plus 4d minus 2 is equals to 0. So the roots are 1 comma 1 plus or minus 1. So how many roots we have? We have got three roots because this equation has been given to you as cubical equation. Right. So cf would be 1 is a real root and it is not repeated. So c1 e to the power x plus 1 plus or minus i. It's a complex root not repeated e to the power x c2 cos of x plus c3 sine of x. Right. Now let us go for pi. What how that pi would be? It's one upon f of d, one upon f of d e to the power x plus one upon f of d on cos of x. So this is getting operated on e to the power x and cos of x separately. Now again, this e to the power x, a is e equals to one here, right? A equals to one in this first case. So if I'm putting a equals to one here, if you observe, this bracket is going to be zero this bracket is going to be zero. So instead of that, we will not apply that formula or this A, we are not replacing A with this bracket here. So we'll be keeping this bracket as it is, but yes, we will replace this A one. Let us see what will happen here in this case, the second case, cos of AX, A, the value of A in this case is also one over here, right? And therefore I am replacing every D squared by minus of one square. So if you'll observe this, D has been replaced here as 1. So it's 1 minus 2 plus 2. And this D plus D minus 1 bracket remains the same. This is also one of the way to deal with this kind of examples. So that your, your Ds or those, those number of Ds will get reduced to the constant and it will be simple for you to deal with it again. Now, look at the second one. It's D square. So D cube has been replaced as D square. So it's nothing but D square into D. So out of this d square, we have replaced this as minus 1 because a is 1. So a is minus a square. In this case, we are getting it as, please bear with me with this mouse and my handwriting. list. So it's a d square as uh, minus of 1. So minus 1 d minus of again d square is minus 1 plus 4d minus 2 cos of x. Then this 1 upon 1 upon d minus 1 e to the power x because this will give me 1, 1 minus 2 plus 2, it will give me 1 here. And therefore, it's 1 by d minus 1 on e to the power x. And what will happen to the next side here? It's minus d minus minus plus 3 plus 4d minus 2. This will give me 3d plus 1 on cos of x, right? Now, again, if you'll observe this, this case, A is 1 over here. And if I'm replacing D by 1, it is going to be 0. So what will happen? We did it once. Now, if I differentiate this denominator, denominator differentiation would give me only 1 here because it's a 1. And this differentiation of minus 1 with respect to x would be 0. It's x into 1 by 1 e to the power x plus. Now, this 3D plus 1, this is also, again, a very, a very important thing to note it down here. So you have to note down this step here, what we have done it to make it a D square into the picture. Because whenever we are operating any operator, inverse operator on cos of x or sine of x, we always wanted the function with the D, with the D square, right? And therefore, just to make it this 3D plus 1 as D square, bring it this function in terms of D, we have to multiply and divide the numerator and the denominator as 3D minus 1. So 3d minus 1 upon 3d minus 1. So it will get multiplied with 3d plus 1. It will give me 9d squared minus 1 cos of x, right? And what will happen next? But what is this? This dy by dx on dy. So that means what t, What am I doing it? It's I'm doing it here. This is my first. So it is nothing but e to the power x into x plus. What will happen here? This is nothing but this. 3d minus 1 is getting operated on cos. So 3 times d or of cos of x. This is what I wanted to say you from here. It's dy upon dx. So it's nothing but d of cos of x, right? So d of cos of x is nothing but d upon dx of cos of x. d upon dx of cos of x. And differentiation of cos of x will give me minus. Right? differentiation of cos of x will give me minus sine and therefore it's 3 times d of cos of x so minus 3 sine x 
because differentiation of cos is minus sign. So this minus 3 sin x minus this cos of x will get multiplied with 1 here, minus 1, so it's minus of x. And denominator will happen, d square we are replacing it with minus 1. So it's minus 9 minus 1 will give me minus 10 over here. But numerator, I have got 1 minus from here. From this bracket, I'll be getting 1 minus out. Denominator 1 minus out, I'll be getting this as plus. And therefore, this pi becomes x e to the power x plus 1 by 10, 3 times sin x plus cos of x. This is the pi. See if you have already got it from this state. And therefore, the general solution will would be this. y is equals to c1 e to the power x plus e to the power x c2 cos of x plus c3 sin of x, which is the cf part here. And then this is what the PF, pi is x e to the power x plus 1 by 10, 3 sin x plus cos of x. So this is what is the general solution of the entire question. Let us go for one uh, uh, more, more example. I would like to explain you something over here, which we have not covered in the past two examples. So this b square y upon dx square plus 4y is equal to sine 2x, right? Sine 2x. So auxiliary equation is d square plus 4 is 0. Therefore, the roots are them, plus or minus 2i. And if it is plus or minus 2i, it's 0 plus 2 plus or minus 2i, which would give me the this 1 over here because it's e to the power 0x, right? So e to the power 0x, c even cos of 2x plus c to cos sine of 2x. And this e to the power 0 would give me 1. It's no need to write it down if it is 0. Okay. And pi would be 1 upon d square plus 4 sine of 2x. Now, one thing you have to note it down. Whenever we have got a sine and a cos, you have to replace what is a over here. So a in the present case is a is equals to 2, right? So what we have to replace? So d square we need to replace as, what is this? Minus of a square, that is minus of 4, we need to replace this d square as. So if you observe this d square, if I replace with minus 4, I'm going to get this denominator equals to 0. That means what my first condition will not be applicable. So I will not be applicable in this present case. So I need to go for the second thing. What is that? Taking x out, that means taking x out and differentiating the denominator with respect to d, we are doing it. So differentiation of this denominator, d square plus 4 with respect to d would give me, this would give me 1 upon 2d. So denominator differentiation would be 2 times d. But while doing the differentiation, 1x would come out of it. So x into 1 upon 2d sine 2x. And now, this is one more thing. Whenever I'm saying it's d equals to d upon dx as an operator, so it's a d upon dx. And you know that if I wanted to take the inverse of this differentiation operator, I would get the inverse because differentiation and integration, they are inverses of each other. They are complements of each other. So it's 1 by dx is equals to integration of x dx. That is what we did. We have done it here. So it's x by 2, 1 by d operating on sine of 2x is nothing but I am integrating this sine of 2x, right? Integration of sine of 2x dx. This is what we have done. What is the integration of sine of 2x? Is nothing but minus cos 2x by 2. And therefore, we have got the pi as minus x cos of 2x divided by 4. And therefore, the general solution is y is equals to, that is a complete or a general solution would be y cf plus pi, which is c1 cos of 2x plus c2 sin of 2x minus x cos of 2x by 4. So this is what is about whenever we have a RHS side, x is equals to sine of ax or cos of 2x, sine of uh, ax or cos of ax. That time we have to just find out the roots or, or, the, or the, the equation or the solution of the particular integral as this, right? I hope you have understood this kind of questions whenever and you will be able to solve this type of questions in future. Thank you. Happy learning.